Flowing between Palo Alto and Menlo Park, the San Francisco Creek has recently gained attention as critical fish habitat. The two main species here that we're concerned about are the coho salmon, which are endangered, and the steelhead trout, which are threatened. The problem we're faced with is that when they're swimming upstream, there's these objects that are very hard for them to jump over. They're good jumpers, but we've got a very wide weir. A weir is a fancy word for a great control structure. So basically it's a big uh, solid object in the creek that's preventing head cutting, erosion, um, around any particular structure that you want to protect. In this case there's a footbridge, a Caltrain bridge, the Stanford tree, a number of things people don't want to fall down into the creek. Now in its last stages, the project involves removing the current structure, the Bondi Weir, and replacing it with more fish-friendly engineered streambed material, such as rock riprap. The San Mateo County Resource Conservation District, or RCD, is spearheading this project. And the RCD serves as the uh, local hub for uh, contacting landowners, whether they be private, public land, uh, as kind of coordinators for conservation work. Fish Passage is, um, is one, of, one of the popular projects that we do because steelhead are threatened, threatened species, so there's funding available for um, conserving their habitat. Though some people are concerned about the impacts this will have on stream flow, it is predicted that the changes will not affect flooding events. If anything, this is going to improve the flow of water um, through, it's really going to be insignificant to any flooding activity. Um, it's more about fish passage and maintaining the grade control function of the structure. Such projects rely heavily on grant funding. The Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, has contributed $75,000 to assist the weir removal project. And, uh, EPA is a great partner. They were uh, very excited to help out with this project. And we're very hopeful that we can get this weir out this summer and, and make it easy for the fish next year to swim upstream and downstream. For more information on this project and others, visit sanmateorcd.org.